How did Jeffrey Epstein even get a house that cost 88 million? Well, that's for us to find out today. Hello everyone, this is Property Insider and today we're gonna to be looking at the most expensive listing on Street Easy at the time of recording. Um, this is 9 East 71st Street, previously owned by Jeffrey Epstein. So we're gonna start here with this Street Easy article. So Jeffrey Epstein's former Upper East Side home lists for $88 million. And here's the picture. Um, so this is the picture pulled from this listing here. It's funny because for the most expensive listing on Street Easy, this building only has four photos and I believe one of them is the map. I don't know how hard they're trying. This isn't even a full photo here, but very nice photo of the exterior. It's a nice French neoclassical building. Here we have this drawing room type situation, which you can also see here. Very elaborate. Somebody's clearly done some editing on this photo. Bright little lights to hide away all the cries of children who have entered this house. Next one is a picture of the nice deck. It's very, very pretty. Um, can't deny that this is a very nice house. You wouldn't want to live here if they didn't know about the whole Jeffrey Epstein situation. If you don't know, um, I suggest you watch, I think it's called Filthy Rich or something on Netflix. It's a very good documentary about the whole Jeff Epstein incident um, or incidents, I should say, as there were many cases of Jeffrey taking advantage of his power. And here, the location, very good location, as I said, between Madison and Fifth. So let's take a look at what this Street Easy Article has to say, Jeffrey Epstein's former Upper East Side home lists for $88 million. So this was built in the 1930s. Apparently it's one of um, New York's wealthiest blocks. I remember reading somewhere, ironically, that Bill Cosby actually lived across the street. I think it might've been in this article now. Um, but yeah, Bill Cosby lived across the street, which um, apparently this block is not only the wealthiest, but also one of the most uh, perverted. Epstein pleaded guilty to prostitution charges in 2007 in Miami, served 13 months in jail. Last summer, he was jailed on sex trafficking charges and awaiting trial in New York when he committed suicide in August. Apparently, his Palm Beach house is also on the market for $21.995 million, but that's for a different day. His other properties, including a private island in the U.S. Virgin Islands, will list shortly. So how did Jeffrey Epstein come to this mansion? How did he acquire an $88 million mansion, currently the most expensive property in New York City. So interestingly enough, Jeffrey Epstein bought this property allegedly in 23rd of December, 2011. So the previous owner was Epstein's mentor, Leslie H. Wexner. Uh, so Wexner appears to have made a gift of the house to Epstein, transferring title for the cost of $0 around 1996. And if we go to, and if we go on to Street Easy here, we can see this is the case. In 2011, um, the seller, 971st Street Corporation, I assume this is Wexner and um, Epstein's joint company or corporation, uh, sold to Maple Inc., which is Epstein's private company in uh, registered in the Virgin Islands. Apparently it used to be a school. So in 1962, it became the Birch Wappen School, which moved out in 1989. Wexner purchased the $13.2 million mansion, which was apparently a record for townhouse sales in Manhattan. So Wexner re renovated it, I'm guessing in the 70s. Um, it made Ar Architectural Digest. What a time, December 1995. Um, Epstein's taste was somewhat different. Um, leopard print upholstery life-size sculpture of naked African warriors. I, I don't think that comes with the listing now. Apparently this is also the largest single family home in Manhattan. I don't know if that's true. Uh, agents often make claims that are possibly bordering on the truth or not true at all. Obviously it's a remarkable building. There's no, there's no getting around that. It is a beautiful, beautiful building. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I have a hard time imagining somebody not knowing what this building represents and everything that went on. It just has bad juju, you know? So that's the that's the lowdown on this property. Um, this is going to be one of the first of many properties I'm gonna talk about here on this series. Um, so if you're interested, please, please subscribe. Um, I <laughs> spend too much time on Street Easy and this is a good way of finding some fun in it. Um, but yes, this is Jeffrey Epstein's $88 million, $88 million mansion. Currently the most expensive listing on Street Easy. Thank you for joining me. This is Property Insider, and I will see you next video. Bye.